Let's go. Park number two. In the state of California, you can't really buy any fireworks that are too exciting, but you can make a fireball out of a paint can, a little black powder, a little bit of hobby fuse, and a lot of non-dairy coffee creamer. He doesn't know how to speak English. So, what you need to do is get a paint can. If you know somebody who works in a restaurant, you can get a one-gallon um, like sauce can, uh, canned tomatoes, something like that. I am going to use a coffee, not a coffee can, a paint can. I am going to use a paint can. Just need to drill a hole, use a can opener to get rid of the rim, and we're ready to go. Here's one that's ready, already done. There's no rim on it, and I always drill my holes because I'm a little, a little OCD. I always drill my holes at the barcode because it's easier to find. After you do this a couple times, you'll see the burn mark, and that's a pretty good indicator where the hole is too. The first paint can that I tried to open up, I used electric can opener in the kitchen, and it didn't work real well. This little hand thing works a lot better on a really large can like this. All right, here's the paint can. This is garbage. No longer needed. This is now garbage. That's all you need. Oh, that's beautiful. There is no ledge on there. Yay, no cutting. Okay. The next thing you need is to drill a hole. I like to use the barcode. Makes it easier to find. I think I said that already, did I? Yeah, I think so. Um, so, I'm going to drill a hole where the barcode is for the fuse. Yes, my garage is very clean. No, it's not. Safety first, right? Okay. Right near the bottom. That's it. The can's ready to go. All right, let's see if some fuse will fit in that hole. Oops. I dropped it on the floor. It might be broken, but I think it'll work. Let's try it. So, we've got the hole. Take the fuse. Give it a little twist. Okay, when you put the fuse in, you want to make sure it's in there. You want to make sure that there's enough fuse in there the gunpowder that it will light it. I just came up with a great idea that can make this useful. Okay, it's my idea, so I think it's great, but it's probably mediocre. Um, so you need tissue paper to separate the gunpowder from the uh, non-dairy creamer. Non-dairy creamer. Um, because if the two mix it's not going to get enough good enough burn. It's not going to lift this stuff up in the air. It's not going to get the fireball. So I just happen to have black, black uh, tissue paper. Now, if I were to take, you want it to be about the same shape as the can, which would be round. So I'm going to take my lid. Put it on the paper like that. Get my handy dandy baby safety scissors. I did say about, right? I wonder why my garage is so clean. That's nice. Okay, so I use a lid to get a round-ish piece of paper. Right on, all right, that's ready. My idea worked. Okay, so now we need black powder. Not gunpowder. Black powder. It has the lift. It has the slow burn that will push it up in the air, not explode it in the air. Gunpowder is dangerous. You make a bomb. 
black powder. And besides, black powder smokes like crazy, which makes the thing look much better. You're making a fireball. Oh, put the gunpowder in. I didn't put this whole thing in there. It was almost empty. Very little is in there. Really? You want enough to cover the bottom. Let me grab the camera. See the fuse sticking in there? It's enough to cover the bottom. Probably use a little more than that actually. <laughs> Black powder, a little hole like that in the can. You go around the driveway, not driveway, the street. You can make drawings on the road. Oh my god, the kids love that. Got a good amount on there. Now I take the handy dandy piece of paper. <laughs> oh, I got I got to see if I can film that. That was cool. The paper in there. That would be a lot easier to see if I had white tissue paper. And now, creamer. The best way to do it with a sifter. You want it as light as you can get. Oh, and the other thing, what I'm doing here in a garage, you don't want to do. You want to get the gunpowder in there, you want to get the paper in there, and then the fuse, of course. You want to take it out to where you're going to do it, and then do this with the non-dairy creamer. You want to do that with an ordinary creamer because it makes it nice and light and fluffy in the can. Gives it more lift, gives it more better separation of particulate up in the air, makes it burn better, gives you a better fireball. The simple act of me doing this makes the creamer settle and pack down. When I take it outside and I put it down, it packs. It's not going to be light and fluffy and get thrown up into the air. It's going to be one big ass clump. You don't want that. Put the creamer in the can in the spot that you are going to light it off from. So I'm going to take the creamer out of this, take it outside, and uh, get it all set up, and then light it off. To give you an idea of how much uh, non-dairy creamer we put in there, there you go. Whoa! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Thank you. Coffee creamer and gunpowder. Whoa! Yeah. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, a paint can, some hobby fuse, black powder, and coffee creamer, and a piece of tissue paper. Yeah, simple, fun, exciting, you know, easy thing, easy to do, non-standard firework. That's it. Be safe. Bye-bye.